me as an African uh, in a continent where a lot of people say, well, that, that those animals are there for, for foreigners. At the end of this month, Kenya is going to destroy 105 tons of ivory, 1.5 tons of rhino horns, which have been seized in the seizures that uh, Kate has just mentioned. That's worth a, over a billion dollars. We're not a rich country. We're going to destroy a billion dollars worth of wildlife products to make a statement. These animals are worth more alive. And the, the tragedy is that to many people, they do live in the land with these animals. The animals do cause all kinds of conflicts. But as Africans, we have a very, very strong, ancient connection to wildlife. We turned our parks into places to generate money, and the people who will pay are tourists. Right. So we're turning this around. You know, Kenya Wildlife Service is going through a, a major change in the country, and we've started, for the very first time, a television series in Kenya that's on wildlife. We've never had wildlife programming. Can you imagine that more Americans and Europeans have seen and know African animals by name? They know the individual lions of the Maasai Mara, and they know the names of elephants in Amboseli. And in Kenya, we don't. And these films are sometimes 30 years old, and they've never been shown in Africa. So we've started a program of showcasing these films as an experiment. The impact is phenomenal. It's one of the top rating films, television films in the, during the week. What, what, we ha what I'm saying is that there is this innate interest and love for wildlife. And just last week, a very tragic incident happened. A lion was killed, which had just injured somebody outside of the national park. Now, previously, if a lion injures somebody, that lion needs to be destroyed. That was the decision of the park service. The, the city of Nairobi was up in arms. How could you kill a lion? These animals are so important to us. This is just after two months of programming about wildlife. Right. So I, I do think the public that opinion can change. Public opinion can change like this. It's very, very quick. Uh, people do love animals. We know that. That's why people go to the zoos here in the United States. Animals and humans, we have a special connection to animals. And we may not ever be able to explain it, but it only takes spending time with animals, going into the parks, meeting elephants and lions, um, and knowing them as individuals, not just as another animal.